Welcome back Tweenerheads, welcome back to another Storytime Edition video here on Tweenerhead Tennis. And to this week, I have something very... How do I describe this? Very passionate about this topic because I don't want any tennis parent to be this kind of tennis parent. This is something that I've been through and I, I want to make it apparent to tennis parents out there, tennis kids, to not let this... Uh, not let this kind of situation affect them in any way, shape, or form. And I'm kind of shaking because it makes me very angry about it. So, to get into the story of how this happened or what this is, I, when I was younger, probably when I was about 16, 17, uh, probably 15, 16 actually, 15, 16 years old, and I was playing a finals of a level seven tournament here in Connecticut of the USTA level. And I was waiting, it was Sunday and I had to play two matches. I played my semifinal earlier that day and then I was playing the final later that afternoon. And I was watching this kid play and I knew the kid, he trained at my academy. I'm not gonna name names because uh, it is kind of, I get very frustrated about this topic so I'm not gonna name names and I get very frustrated at this parent. I was waiting to play and I was kind of just in the mentality of, I didn't, I was waiting so long. They gave this kid a two hour break after a semifinal. I was waiting for like three hours at this point. I was kind of just getting tired and not very motivated because of pumping myself. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna win this final. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm motivated. Let's go, let's go. And kid plays a two hour marathon. Then I have to wait another hour and a half for him to finish. Like, because he needs his rest, he needs to recover for the final. And while we were waiting, this kid's dad is, like he played professional in some way and he was talking about, and we were sitting with him and he was talking about how he coaches his son, how he went through the pros, how he has this mentality of, oh, I know what to teach him, I know how to do it and I know what he needs to do, he needs to do this, he needs to do that. And it was becoming more of a psychological warfare kind of thing. And this parent was just, just being such a dickhead. You don't have to brag about your past. You don't have to brag about, oh, I know how to coach my kid. Oh, I know what he has to do. Oh, he has the right mental state to go to play college. And I'm like, just shut up. My God. And what made this worse was I lose to this kid, probably because I was waiting for five hours to play him. And he had a two-handed forehand, two double-hand backhands, which, by the way, is one of the most annoying things I've ever seen in my life. And when he beat me, both his parents jump up in celebration. Like, I, okay, before I get too passionate about this subject, it's okay for parents to cheer on your kids. It's okay for you to be supportive, you to encourage your kids to play tennis and see them succeed. But the way that this, but the way this, dad did it was like he just won a grand slam like he was so like yelling like i looked at my dad in the window i just shrugged my shoulders i'm going yeah that's okay it wasn't my day uh big big lapse of time before i could play my next match i lost my momentum stuff like that and it was fine and uh, i lost the match and i was fine with that and but the way i just want to put a warning out there for parents don't be that overbearing parent on kids. Don't put too much pressure on them. Don't don't try to psych out another kid. Because that's what this dad was doing to me and that's what and that's what I hate about sometimes these tennis parents that just become overbearing or try to just don't be that parent that tries to psych out your child's opponent because one it's not a very good look for you. Two you're just intimidating the other kid, me in this case. And three, you, it's just a bad look for your kid as well because you're not being a very good role model to him. I like I don't need to hear these stories of, oh, I was playing with Macron. It's like you start getting caught up in these stories and these headlines and you start not look, thinking about your match because you're just, because you're just not thinking of, you're thinking about what this guy just told you versus what you should be preparing for. And that's what he did. And that, it got into my head. And this is like, this is when I was a young kid and I, couldn't really change my mindset. I wasn't really prepared for that. And I, and I hate that shit. I hate it. <laughs> I, I just wanted to tell this story because I just don't want tennis parents like that to get into, into your heads as well as 
your kid's head if you are a parent and you're watching this i don't want this to get into your kid's head so just you have to be careful of what who you surround your kids with or who they're listening to during in between matches and stuff like that because that's just something personal to me that i grew up watching and what experienced in this case because i f no kid should be able should listen to the bullshit that this dad did to me where he kind of psyched me out in a way and i after the match i was like this is just this is just something that shouldn't be apparent and shouldn't be happening to kids my age and i i just wanted to make that very clear within this video um i didn't want to judge anyone for it i didn't want to i just wanted to make it a fact that parents will try to psych out other kids for their own and I, when I have a kid, I never want to be like that. I don't want to be that kind of parent. I am a very competitive person, but I would never go to the lengths of doing what this father did to me. And I, I just want to make that clear. And that's just something very passionate to me that I wanted to share because it happened to me and I don't want it to let it happen to you um, at all. So you have to be aware of those kind of parents. And I hate that. And that's just my opinion on it. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to Tweenerhead Tennis. That would be great. If you want to see more behind the scenes content, definitely check out our social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Make sure to check out all those and check out our website at tweenerheadtennis.com. If you want to check out cool merch like sweatshirts, t-shirts, stickers, if you want to check out all that, you can check it out on our website as well as behind the scenes articles. So I hope to see you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks guys.